Hello my dear students and welcome to Zenith Academy Online once again. So this is the continuation of the chapter photosynthesis and in this module we will study the end result of the product of photosynthesis. So my dear children there are three end products for photosynthesis that is glucose, water and oxygen. So this reaction is extremely extremely important. I have explained you this reaction in the first module or the first part of this chapter. So remember, 6 molecules of CO2 combines with 12 molecules of water okay, in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to form 1 molecule of glucose, 6 molecules of water and 6 molecules of oxygen. Okay. So what are the products? Glucose, water and oxygen. These are the 3 products. So let's talk about glucose in detail. So children, this is the, the simple sugar glucose is used in four different ways as required by the plants. Now, what are the four ways in which glucose is required by the plant? First, it is immediately consumed by the plant cells for its functioning and for its growth. Second, it is stored in the form of insoluble starch. So, glucose converts into insoluble starch and it is stored okay, for later use. Then, it is converted into sucrose. This is the fourth point. In the fruits, it gets converted into sucrose. And that's why it's, uh, it tastes sweet. And it is used in synthesizing fats, proteins, etc. So these are the four uses of glucose. Okay? It is immediately consumed by the plant cells. It is stored in the form of insoluble starch. It gets converted into sucrose and it is used in synthesizing fats, proteins, etc. Okay. Second is water. So water produced in the process may be reutilized in the continuation for the continuation of photosynthesis. So this reaction you should learn it by heart, ICC students. These water molecules which are produced okay, are reused in for the continuation of photosynthesis. Okay, so even if there is less water absorbed from the roots, the water that is produced here can be reutilized. Okay, then about oxygen. So some of the oxygen may be used in respiration in the leaf cells itself. Okay, so the oxygen that is produced, not all the oxygen is given out. It is some, some of the oxygen may be used in the respiration of the leaf cells. And this phenomenon is called photorespiration. But the majority of the oxygen, the major portion of it is not required and it diffuses out into the atmosphere through stomata. So this oxygen leaves, goes to the atmosphere through stomata. So in a sense, even this oxygen is not a waste, right? Because all the organisms like human beings, all the organisms require it for their existence, including the plants which require it at night. Even the plants again take in this, carbon, uh, this oxygen at night. We have already studied this. Right, so this oxygen, okay, which is a product, first is used in the photorespiration of the leaf cells. Second, when it is given out, it is used by human beings and other animals for our respiration, and it is also used by plants during night. Okay, so now what happens to the synthesized food, the food that has been produced, and how it is translocated. This is very important from MCQ point of view, my dear children, so pay attention. Food manufactured in the leaf is translocated. We don't call it transported. We call it translocated because it changes its location. Okay. Now, food manufactured in the leaf is required for use by all the other parts of the plant as well. So, where is food produced? Leaf. But all the other plants also need this food for their growth. Okay. So, glucose is formed in the leaf very rapidly during photosynthesis, we all know. And it cannot be transported to other parts with the same rapidity. Jitni speed se wo banta hai, utni speed se sabhi parts pe nahi jata hai. What happens? It is converted into insoluble starch for temporary storage in the leaf. Okay? Temporary leaf mein storage karne ke liye, it has to be insoluble starch. Soluble hoga to water mein dissolve hoke transport ho jayega. We store karna hai. So for storage, first it is converted into insoluble starch for temporary storage. Now at night what happened? This starch is reconverted into soluble sugar. Now 
at night okay the starch is reconverted converted back into soluble sugar which is transported in the solution form because now it is soluble it will dissolve in water and in the solution form it will be transported through the veins of the leaf and down through the phloem of the stem so in this way it gets transported or translocated so we call it translocated to different parts of the plant where now wherever it goes okay now it goes to different parts of the plant now there also it can be reconverted into starch for storage because see in the case of potato we see a lot of starch right because there also then it will get stored wo bolega yaar leaf jab dega tab main pehle se apna store karke rakta so this is again reconverted into starch for storage to produce energy for various functions in the plant i hope this is very clear glucose is produced by photosynthesis very rapidly with the same rapidity it cannot be transferred okay so what happens temporarily it converts into insoluble starch and gets stored at night it again converts into soluble sugar and then it is transported in the solution form through the veins of the leaf okay now then it goes to different parts of the plant now if that part of the plant wants to store it then it will again be convert it will again be converted it into starch for storage i hope this is very very clear to all of you so that is all for today's video module do watch our next modules for completing the whole chapter of photosynthesis and do attend our live quizzes for uh, photosynthesis as well always and always keep the learning on If you have liked the video do subscribe and do share it with your friends thank you my dear children